Drew's successful as fuck, dog. <laughs> I went and did her podcast the other day. I walked into a building, a company. Right. And like, like a studio. Three yeah. other women like, intri- like walked me through and was like, <laughs> Drew will be right with you. And I was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Friends and family, welcome back to another episode of Working On It. Uh, I'm just Megan's brother, Ryan Trainer, and you want to introduce yourself? Uh, I'm pregnant, and I'm Megan Trainer. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting bigger than I need to be. And we have an amazing guest. Uh, we have an iconic queen in the building. I'm freaking out because I've wanted this to happen for so long. We have Drew Afualo. Woohoo! Woohoo! I've been telling yeah, people. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. like, dude, do you know Drew Afualo? <laughs> She's so fucking good. God, I hate really? myself. Okay. <laughs> Drew Afualo. Gorgeous. Love. Thank you. Thank you for giving us your time and oh my your gosh, energy for and your looks, and we love you. Oh my gosh, are you kidding? I'm, and such, I'm an honorary for, trainer, y'all. You're a trainer, yeah. true trainer. And yeah, I'm coming for your neck, Chris Olsen. And I like, I love, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Chris Olsen, watch the fuck out. Watch the fuck out. I'm I, lo- I love that your mom is here. Yes, and my mom. She's just my capturing mom. content. Just she's like time. helping you with stuff, like just like how just Megan's, like your mom, yeah, our mommy. mom. Yeah, I'm like your Megan's mom. mom. Like, yeah, she's watch my mom that too. help your career for like forever. No, truly. Well, you living with your whole family too, me. Yeah, literally me. I gave her a mini tour of the house and was like, "There's Ryan's castle, <laughs> and there's my little brother's room off the yeah. kitchen." Yeah, my sister <laughs> tried to move kind of far too, and I was like, "You simply can't. You can't. Yeah. I need you two seconds away from." And me. when they like, they tried it, like if we're fighting, <laughs> they'll be like, "Well, I'll move," and that's like a threat. And I'm like. <laughs> I forgive you. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, like that's unfair. Please don't. Yeah, I'm like, bring a gun to a knife Jeez, fight. Yeah. Jeez, Louise. I'm just so excited you're here. I missed you. It's her world. I'm just living in it. <laughs> Truly, and I'm cool with that. Look I'm super okay. With that. Um, so here's here's the reality though. Like I, you're not on my for you page. Right, I had so to introduce like, you. What's, yeah. Most well, most men don't have me on their yeah, phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. then I did some research and I was Great like, man. oh, all right. Yeah, you get curious. you get some guys fired up. Yeah. Which I really like, ruffle the feathers. Get, you I ruffle the like, feathers. She gets death threats. Which kind of like you you kind of they like prove themselves wrong, I guess. Right, right. They prove like, me right. They prove right. you right because the good. retaliation. I'm like, dude, relax. No, Why are you so sensitive? They're so Actually, sensitive. The most angry like, ones are the most sensitive ones. Because first of all, you're helping them out at the end of the day, and it's jokes. Like <laughs> yeah. I understand. Like, do, you, I think do people so. not get comedy? Like, look it up. I guess <laughs> <laughs> that's what I think. <laughs> uh, no, I think men like that like to joke until they're the butt of the joke. Then yeah. it's not gotcha. funny anymore it's because it's fun. like, yeah. well, that's how you know their jokes weren't actually jokes. Like there, there was no, a joke shouldn't have malintent behind it. It shouldn't be told to like hurt somebody. It should be told to make people laugh. It's to entertain. Right. So they can't be funny without punching down. That's their problem. So like Got my it. stuff is only ever punching up, which is like me just attacking them for stuff that they feel. I don't know. They feel entitled to impose on others like beauty standards. Love they feel it. so entitled to judge women for what they look like when they don't they themselves don't meet beauty standards so it's kind of ironic mm-hmm. so, turns out there's money in that house so <laughs> okay that's what we all want to okay, know I like it's that. like i like that shit. did you did you like start on tiktok and like pop off like because you did one reaction like what was your first viral tiktok my very first viral video was um i stitched a girl who was saying asking like what are some very specific red flags in men that you have? And so I made a list and I just went down the list. And one of them was actually, if you love Tom Brady, I yep. see you have a yeah. Patriots thing. It's such a and flag. I said, and I said too, like, not like a big Pats fan or a Bucks fan, but like just Tom Brady. Like yes. you want to oh, kiss him on the lips, no. Tom Brady. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He People would like, kiss right, this him could on be the good. Mouth. We could go through like all the things that I like and dislike and you could <laughs> no, be like there's green a flag, Pats red flag. Here. And I'll be okay with that. Because here... I love Tom Brady. I love Tom Brady. Well, and that's That's fine because, like, (laughs) real recognize real, like, he is, like, a talented person. He's a goat, whatever. But it's, like, it's when they make excuses for, like, everything else he does. Like, every other malfeasion he's committed. They're like, well, actually, still, he's Tom Brady. She's smart. Right, right. Intimidating, bro. She uses big words. (laughs) Are you fucking scary, People like that, men like that are insane. But, like, and a lot of women, actually, the Tom Brady one, 
comment that I made, a lot of women were like, oh my God, my ex was insane and he loved Tom Brady. Yep, it adds up. <laughs> yeah. I know, when you saw that Pat's <laughs> table, I could tell. He's an he's the best athlete of all time. Listen, oh, no. when you saw the Pat's table, I saw in your face, you were like, uh-oh. And I was like, yeah, I uh-huh. Saw- I That's just, like, you I, just You know what, into. I have friends who are born and raised in Boston love the Pats. So I get it. I get it. Yeah. I get it. You know what I mean? I get okay. y'all. What are some other I red like flags? It. Because um, my brother is a single bachelor and um, I just... I want you to give some of your knowledge. His just throw sure. it out there. Just she's so she's very listen. focused sure. on me. I'm she's more focused like, on him because I'm looking for my sister. Right. <laughs> you're like, you? I need one. I need. I one. just need one, one female just, in the house. Yeah. Other than It'd your be mom. Nice. Yeah. It's me and mom, and she's Justin. mostly on their side. <laughs> so if I just have some other gal, that's with me, me with my mom and my little brother. Same, yeah. Do they same. always? About, oh yeah. Her, he her can do nothing wrong. Her mom's another one that like if the if the if her brother committed murder, she'd be like, "That's me." She'd be like, you know, honestly, that was kind of on me. So, <laughs> but if I did it, she'd be like, you better turn yourself in before you I do it. You better stay with you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Here's what's happening with me. Okay. I, sure. I finally started working on myself at 28 years old. I decided Love. enough's King. enough. Got to sober up oh, cool. and, and really mm-hmm. figure out me. Yeah. And it's been a constant and he's great. battle, little battles, you know, winning, winning, winning. And you know, it's tough. It's been two years, mm. but I still feel like I could do a lot more work. And I'm just trying to be the best version of myself before yeah. I kind of put yourself out there. Yet let someone in. I feel you. Um, like That's I just fair. feel like I'm just not quite there yet. What? I, I think you're fantastic. <laughs> I, I think, think most. You're, you're so hard on yourself. If I'm being, I, yeah, yeah. I feel, if I'm being honest, I think most men. I wish most men would do what yes. you're doing. Like they would take time to understand themselves, what they want how they want it, like what they see their future looking like. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of men, especially I'm 27, so I'm going to be 28 um, around our age too. Like they are so convinced they have it all figured out already, which is like, I think two part like society and also like however you're raised. But a lot of times you feel like, Oh, I know all the answers. I don't need to work on myself anymore. Oh, he's great at that. And you are. Yeah. You are actively doing that, which is like, I know nothing. I'm lost. I think that's a good Yes. But you're doing so good. But I think that's Thank a great you. thing, like figuring out what you want. I think a lot of men sometimes figure it out in relationships. Like they enter yeah. relationships yeah. and figure out, oh, I don't like that. And then, you know, there's people that get hurt along the way when you don't know who you are before you enter relationships. I think that's a great thing. Yeah, and I think yeah. it's crazy to know who you are at like 21. And that 20. too. That's insanity. That's insane. Someone told yeah. me the other day, like, don't expect your kids to like fly away at 18. I was like, no, I hope they're 30 and lost and in my house. And I, <laughs> well, they're all and I'll help two them different people. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I want them to be here forever. It's crazy. What's your sign, Ryan? Sagittarius. Oh, fire December sign. 17th. Do you know your moon and rising? We just uh, got an app that's wait, like shit. who that's I am as a person. Teaches you? It's called like My Human Design. My Human Design. Have you heard oh, of this? You would love I haven't this. heard of that one. I use a few of them. How does it? Does it say what the fucking moon is? I don't know. I was born at 608 You plugged it in. PM. So just show her. It My should chart. be on there. Use a generator. Do you know those things? I've used like CoStar. I've used like the pattern. I would I've love used. to use Oh, yeah. Maybe it's on the CoStar. Sages are, I know, fire signs. My what does that mean? What does fire mean? Their fire oh, signs man. are very like my mom's a Sag. My mom's a Sag too. What's up, there, Sag? I'm, I'm handing <laughs> my mom's a my double Sag. So I oh, you're, see oh you're, okay. See, you're a Sagittarius, Sun, Libra, Moon, Cancer rising. Ooh, ooh, Cancer rising. Cancer's emotional, mean? right? Well, Sagittarius I- people are very spontaneous. I think a lot of times I think they're indecisive. Yes, they very move yeah. They yeah, move yeah. A lot. Got he, me. One of his biggest new worries, he thought it was ADD, uh, was like um, be finding someone and then being bored and being like, I'm done. In That's a, a Sag thing. That's a Sag yeah, thing. Yeah, they move quickly, 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 quickly. Like their attention span oh, is it's minute. It's your fault, your stars. Keep going. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're a Libra moon. The moon is the emotion. And by the way, I'm not an expert. I just no, know. No, but you know so much more than us. And yeah. we've been willing, we wanted this forever. Moon is like your emotions, like how they, how you manifest like how you control them how they manifest outside of you my boyfriend's a libra libras are very grounded they're very like logical they're very like black and white like it's this or it's this there's no nuance but you're a cancer rising cancers are very emotional very 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 much feel everything so deeply so deeply well that's why you're touching (laughs) me well that's probably why you don't want to settle yet because yeah. you're, f- well, fear plays a role, fear, I think. Fear, fear. I'm afraid of fear. everything. Yeah, afraid of you're everything. afraid, but you, you're someone that sounds like who 
if I can't see the ending, I don't want to do it. Yes. Right. right. Which I need to, I need to switch. That when you stay, sure. spend a lot of time planning, mm. you miss out because you, it's hard, but like rolling the dice on someone, it's a lot easier to just be, to pull out or to never fully commit. Cause if you commit and then something bad happens, you get hurt. So instead of doing that, you protect yourself instead. And you're like, I'm never going to fully commit to anybody because I'm not ready yet. Which right. you probably are ready. You like a lot of um, how you sound you to me, me <laughs> is how how strong and opinionated you were about like I'm not doing therapy, fuck therapy, blah blah blah. Mm-hmm. And then when you did right. it once, you're like, oh, I get that's cool. I needed that. It did, that did work out. You know, therapy was life changing for me. Life changing. Like, when did you start doing it? Last year, actually, Whoa. right right when this started happening for me, yeah. I was like, yes, you need <laughs> it. I need to go work on myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, I I felt never I never looked down on therapy. I always felt like. I wasn't, I don't know, capable or willing or deserving of therapy. I felt like I could have. I felt like, well, if I have like, you know, take if I'm taking up space in an area where I feel like other people need more help than I do, then that's selfish of me. So you didn't think you that's didn't think you like to. you had tough enough problems that Yeah, like I felt wow. like I felt like my problems are champagne problems and I shouldn't be, you know, taking up space where someone else could use it more than I could. Which is unfair to me. Like, I shouldn't put myself in that kind of position where I have to, like, choose, like, whether or not I'm worthy enough of therapy. Everybody can benefit from therapy. Yeah, literally every I'm single I'm such everybody. a proponent of therapy. Yeah. I have it right after this. So <laughs> yeah. Mine's tomorrow. So. Yeah, I, I literally had, like, the opposite <laughs> feeling. I was just like, fuck that. Like, what do they know? Like, who? I know what's wrong with me. Yada, yada. Like, My yeah. mom says just, that. She's like, I know what's wrong with me. I don't have to talk about it. I'm like, oh, that's exactly what you, you have think, to do. Right? You yeah. would think. But then you go, and sometimes my therapist tells me stuff, and I'm like, whose side are you on? Put you on my side. <laughs> That's good. Girl, push you. <laughs> you work for me. I'm yeah. Just kidding. Uh, but she's just so, like, she gives me a new lens to see life through. Mm-hmm. You don't realize it until you, like, when you talk to someone that has no ties to you whatsoever. The outside and they can give you, like, the, the purest, most unattached, like, unbiased opinion. That's worth so its weight in gold to me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 100%. It's changed my life. I love therapy. Yeah. Please so go that's how can. I feel like you are with relationships. You're like afraid. You're like, if it's not the one. And I try to tell them, like, there will be someone you meet one day that you'll be like, I want to spend every day with you. Like, yeah. that was my Daryl. Right. Yeah. And we were psychopaths. We were like 22. Yeah. It's way too early. <laughs> but he was also a lost boy. Didn't know yeah. what he wanted to do. And, and like, didn't, he just, he was like, I didn't emotionally have myself put together and I needed to work on myself. And then I met you. Yeah. So he did that young. But um, yeah. when I met Daryl, we were like Velcro. And I was yeah. like, I want to breathe your air and I want your skin on my skin. <laughs> and we should be one. That was like I told me him with my boyfriend too. Yeah. There'll be a person like that that That's wants to, to take care of you. He well, looks it at seems me and insane. And I, like, I felt the same way. I felt the same way because I dated a lot in college and stuff, but I never found anyone that I felt was worthy because I felt like I don't know I just felt like they would do things that would piss me off and then I was like we're done I don't want to talk to you ever again (laughs) and it would be like really small things like one guy like made up a word once and I was like oh you're never gonna see me again it's so funny say your bites now because we'll never talk again um and we didn't (laughs) one guy just one guy like refused to wear chapstick which grossed me out I was like oh I can't so I think like right before I started dating my boyfriend I came to terms with the fact that like I may be alone and that's okay. And I told myself if I'm alone forever, which is not possible because I'm a woman and men are easy. But if I chose to be alone forever, (laughs) I would be okay. Like I told myself I would be okay because I would rather be alone than be with someone who I felt wasn't deserving of my time or my love or effort. And literally three months later, I started dating my boyfriend who's like my literal soulmate. So like he's like me and him forever. So I feel like I've just reached mm-hmm. that acceptance. Like I could, I could be alone because yeah. I'm not really alone. I'm surrounded by a loving family, yeah, exactly. dogs. Like there's well, a lot going on here. Yeah. Being alone and being lonely are yeah. two different things. Yeah. So yes. being alone is never a bad thing. And I feel like when I was drinking, I was definitely way more dramatic, and I would get, you know, kind of stuck in these like spirals of like drinking alone and be like, yeah, mm. I deserve to be alone. Like mm. it was a different, like a self sabotage. Yeah, yeah, it was a self sabotage. Okay. And I think I was just. Have you had poor relationships in the past? Me just like therapizing you. I, no, you're what do good. you mean? Wait, like um, romantically? I, just, yeah. I do. I do like the like the classic um, situations. Just it, run. It pretty much. Well, Are you a runner? 
I don't know. Yes. I feel like I, I also he's match up with runners sometimes. <laughs> See, both run. Yeah. Well, I just, runs. it's so funny. I just gave this kind of relationship advice to someone um, because she's in a similar situation, but she had a poor experience in a past relationship. And so like her new situation ship was complicated and hurtful. And I told her the same thing I'm going to tell you. Sometimes it's easier to be in relationships with people who are awful or people who you know are going to hurt you because you can predict the ending, like right. I said. So it's easier because you don't commit. Like you have one foot out the door and then when they do something awful, you're like, well, I knew they were going to do something awful because they're awful. It's a lot harder to date someone that you actually care about and love because there's a risk. There's yeah. always a risk. Like you can't control yeah. anything that happens, which is why she's also like stay in my sight at all times. I feel the yeah. same way because you just never, you can't control what happens outside of whether or not they, they cheat and stuff is up to them. But even external factors like play a role too in the fear of mm -hmm. losing somebody, whether it's emotionally, literally, or what have you. So I feel like it's easier. It's a lot easier to date people that you have nothing in common with that make you feel bad about yourself. Yeah. That are a lot, very mismatched with you because you're like, well, they're awful. So <laughs> they're awful. They're really awful. So it's a lot easier. That's good shit. Yeah. Oh, isn't she great, yeah. dude? I was like, you're going to love her. Period. So good. Yeah, it's right in the back. It's true. Period. Um, okay, I guess a little bit about me. Yeah. Uh, 30 Hi, years old. Ryan. No, we're, you could just be like, I, I'll say something, just be like, green flag, red flag, and I, I won't get offended. I'm okay. Cool. I'm okay with myself. Sounds and good. I'm, this is I'm the comfortable. best episode. Thick skin, guys. Man up. Thick skin. There you go. Relax. 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 Here we go. Let's Jesus. all joke. 30-year-old play video games. I like video games. I think that's a green flag. <laughs> I don't yeah. know if I trust that answer, but... <laughs> I think if you meet up with someone who likes well, video games... tell her how long you that's play. That's fun. I'll play for like four hours. What kind of games? I'm on Twitch. Not really successful, yeah, but I'm on there. Yeah, he's not a video gamer. Just for he's funsies. He's a Twitch gamer. Okay, well, I'd change. that depends on what your is commentary is. Flag? I have some friends who oh, are Twitch streamers. I, I feel like I'm okay. I feel like the people that watch me would gas me up and be like, yeah, Ryan's great. Yeah, he's harmless. What he kind of games like do you play? Break down Apex people. Legends. Oh, okay. So yeah. you're a little nerdy. That's cool. For sure. Yeah, I love that. Um, a little nerdy. That's sober, cool. almost two years. That's a great thing. Sober is like extra cool nowadays. It okay. is, yeah, especially in LA. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> yeah. oh, you care about yourself? Sick. <laughs> um, I have a sick car, but it was given to me by my sister. <laughs> hey, I take that as a dub. Okay. You know what <laughs> I mean? Right? That's I what see I say. it, I'm like, hey, man, get um, it where you can. Yeah, he's like, oh, I'm a loser. I live with my sister. I was like, no, you're winning because you're smart. And, and your sister's making here. trainer. What the Period. fuck? That's a flex. That's a That's dub. A okay. Yeah. A lot She's of dubs, right. dog. Uh, <laughs> Unofficial dog walker for Megan Trainer. He walk, I have four dogs. I think he that's a green flag. W they love dogs. Women love men who love dogs, and they get along with them. That bark. No. I don't just. I don't discriminate against dogs. Okay. I love dogs. That There's is not very, very many dogs answer. that I don't that's like. Very good. I answer. fuck with that. Yeah. And we got really cute ones. So everyone, when he are they Chihuahua little... mixes? Or are they just Chihuahuas? No, I got a pure. She's chihuahua. a purebred Chihuahua. Her hair, hair got stands got little up little at the back of her neck. They look like little aliens. I love it. I love them. Um, yeah. <laughs> he loves Megan Trainer. I that's the you know, greenest flag. People, that's a neon green flag that, for me. What first year where you could post like your Spotify wrapped? People were so upset with me that you weren't in my Spotify rap. I don't listen They're like, to me. I can't believe that's what I'm saying. My I can't Spotify believe you don't listen to your sister's music. I'm like, fuck. Right, do you tell them like? Do you tell them like? I hear it before you guys hear it. Yeah, you. I don't have to explain anything. Time. I yeah, just tell like, her like, I, can you truly, believe this shit? That's fair. No, I can never go out there. My Spotify rap is T Pain. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, nobody yeah. else. <laughs> um, what else about me? Uh, there's not many red flags in there. I don't right? think there's anything really, nothing egregious. Except for the fear say. of commitment and indecisiveness. <laughs> and if, you th if you think free of fear of commitment is exclusive to you as a man, you're I out of your mind. I feel like what really so rattled, like what rattled him and like your first, I feel like your first mental breakdowns were in, um, didn't you have one and correct me because I'm just blabbing now, <laughs> is um, when we were in middle, high school, and you had some kind of meltdown. He lived in the basement, you know, in the cool old yeah, 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 basement. Yeah, yeah. Mom's basement. And he yeah. was crying, like sobbing, which he has only done a few times in his life. And it, it was to mom about like, how am I supposed to take care of a family and like, like you know, like have a wife. I guess and I kid. have this really uh, I think the like East implanted Coast. idea of like, I'm the man. I need to be the man. Yeah. Provide for a whole how family. Like I jumped to like, on. I have to raise four kids. How the fuck am I gonna do this? What None of that's even happened. Self awareness yes. at like seventeen. Yes. That's crazy. Yes. I think was where. 
13 years old. 13? Oh, yeah. baby boy. God damn. This fear of the future. Yeah. Now, well, I, fear recently, of the future, I've been pretty yeah. happy because I've been focusing on the moment right here, right now. Yeah. But most of the first. I work on that in therapy. I talk about my fear of the future, like yeah. my need to control everything and right. how like at some point I have to make come to terms with I cannot control everything. Mm-hmm. I can control me, but that's it. And that's, I struggle with that greatly because I just want everything to go exactly the way I see it going in my head. That includes my business, my career, my relationships, like everything. So I feel you. That's yeah. like, well, it's sense. like, but I think I it's like to, to have at 13. The men around our age are still have that like in society, like the man goes and makes the bread and comes home. and yeah. has But like, I see Daryl's yeah. life and I'm like, dude, but I, sometimes I gotta find will... a pop star. I'm down. I can, <laughs> yeah, cause my I husband, can kick it, rub feet, saying, back you know? rubs, My husband cook, doesn't clean. work I'm... as much as me. And yeah. it, in our early relationship, it was like, it did affect him because I'd be like, I'm paying for dinner. Like, yeah. you know, stuff like that. And yeah. it would tear him apart. And he got better with it because he sees how much he does work for all of us and like yeah. how he... Yeah takes care of me and takes care of our kid. Yeah. Um, but there's still, I could still see it in him of like, he, he'll say to me, like, I wish I was out there working all day. You must be exhausted. And like, but and I'm like, I come home and you're more tired than me. Well, and you baby. think too, like it, in that sense too, it's not a misogyny thing. It's like, a, I wish I care so much about you. I want to feel like I'm contributing. Yeah. Like I want to yeah, yeah, feel yeah. like I'm, I'm taking care of you as much as you're taking care of me. Yeah. But and I have I've, to convince him and teach him like you are. Yeah. Well, and, and honestly, like care extends far beyond financial. Like it's not the kind of care that means a lot to me. Is when is you walk my dog. When you walk the dog, when you clean, when you fold laundry, when you go Here grocery you. shopping, when you do all this shit that I don't have time for. Yes. That's like worth yeah. its weight in gold to me. Also, like, I feel like the yeah. new thing is far more. women telling men to be like, uh, care for me emotionally like yeah how, like it's uh, just, how do you how do you do that just drive it just how drive do you that. like <laughs> yeah. i think care emotional for, care like dude i don't know how, i still want to be ready to be emotionally good for someone to care for them yeah to like know how to be there for them i'm assuming you're asking yeah like it I, it's it's specific to the person but i think the common thread line is listening okay and not like yes. my thing too is like i i had this problem with my boyfriend because we communicate very differently and we emote very differently. Like I feel everything so intensely. I interpret tone and body language and he's just like, me too. What I think is what I say. Like, and it's very (laughs) black and white to him. And that's how you are too. And I, I, I wish, like, I wish I had that. Like I envy being able to be like, it's fine. I don't have that. I don't have that switch in me. Yeah. So like, I'll leave an interaction and be like, was I rude? I feel like I was rude. Was I rude? And he goes, why would you think you were rude? I don't know. He's like, you didn't say anything rude. I'm all, that's not what I'm talking about. See what I mean? Like, it's like yeah, yeah, yeah. our interpretations of situations are different, which make it helps both of us because it helps me to stop overthinking and it helps him to be more cognizant and emotionally aware. So I always think like listening is like listening and okay. hearing what, what they say and what their problems are and then just empathizing with them without shutting them down like telling them you're fine it's not that big of a deal women hate hearing that <laughs> like when that was upset. me and daryl but opposite oh really this motherfucker would cry and i was like why are you crying bitch like yeah like we're, we're kind of like fighting, i'm gonna make him be like dude fucking relax like <laughs> so i well, that at, like, makes whatever. me worried though because i saw myself do it to my significant other yeah and then i go you two are men and you're gonna probably do it in a relationship and like yeah i it was like alarming enough when i was like why are you fucking crying, dog? Like well, you were raised with all like, men, right? Right. Yeah. And was so is I'm your like, is your mom emotional? Mom, are you emotional? Barely. Barely. Is your dad is. emotional? She'll, but she'll cry and she'll take it and eat it and then okay. nothing. Is your dad emotional? He's unaware okay. of when he's me. That's why. So that, <laughs> there you go. That's like you know, he'll be like, we're like you cry. You cried all night for what? And she's like, oh what? He's a savage. The crazy he's part is under is realizing that you are truly are a product of your environment. Like yes, you you are what you see. Like what yes. you what you're raised around is what you see, and that's what you emulate, whether it's conscious or subconscious. So like, my parents have been together since high school. My parents are high school sweethearts. My Aww. dad. Thank you. My dad is a Pisces. My dad's a water sign, which a lot of people hate Pisces men. <laughs> but like my because he's so emotionally cognizant. So my dad has never been afraid to cry in front of me to tell me that he loves me. Wow. Yeah. Our dad has me. never cried. Well, my dad, my dad's seen him. Cried I've seen in, the man cry. Once. <laughs> he's cried in front of me 
hundreds of times and he's really? been very emotional and vulnerable with me wow, which is why nice. i think my sister and i and my brother were all very emotional people like my brother's a cancer and my sister's a sad so we're all very emotional people and like i feel like we're very cognizant and aware my mom is not like that she's a tough girl <laughs> my mom's a tough girl she's me she's like Why uh, you fucking grind? well she was like <laughs> your, yeah exactly yeah. like your relationship dynamic it's the same like my mom wow. is very like my mom's very like let's solution based first emotions later yeah, yeah yeah that's how my mom is my dad's the other opposite and that and it took us like a couple years to figure that out but like yeah we, and we like have the smallest little fights but it could Same. lead into because he'll be like you're literally smiling while i'm crying and i'm like <laughs> you know really? like it's, I can't fucking do this. Like it's like an uncomfy thing. Yeah, because but, you didn't yeah. have that. Like right. that's the, your idea oh, of, like, of emoting about? other than laughter is like yeah. no thanks. Yeah, no thanks. <laughs> yeah, no thanks. Right. But we've learned it now, and yeah. now I, I let him fully give his emotions, and then I go. It makes sense. I had to learn like through Doctor Phil and through all these podcasts and through everything of like oh, you actually genuinely feel like this. You yeah. think this is real in your brain. Yeah. And like, so you must be suffering with that. Or you're yeah. not just like saying, eh, you know, like, oh, yeah. you've, I was like, and I'll go, I'm so sorry that you're this hurt. Like, let's work it out. Let's yeah. talk it through. Let's be realistic. So like, let's yeah. break it down. <laughs> and, <laughs> like, it, and it makes you feel validated. Because at the end of the day, yeah. we all just want to feel validated in our emotions and feel like the person that we're with cares about how we feel and how it makes them feel so if they care enough they they should care more about you than they care about themselves which is like when you refuse to apologize when you refuse to take accountability even if it wasn't intentional then you care more about you than you do about your partner yeah right so my younger brother needs all of this you're so wise i'm learning so much <laughs> right well like I, I saw a tiktok of this older lady that was like here's an example of a healthy relationship and why they last so long mm -hmm. and it was like um, it was she like laid out a whole day with me and Daryl. It was crazy. She was <laughs> like, one of you makes each other coffee. It was like, oh, he makes my coffee and my breakfast every morning mm -hmm. and kisses you in the morning. Goes, how how are you? Like just a converse, just like letting them know I care immediately yeah. in the morning. Mm -hmm. And then um, like the other one could be like, oh, I have a shit ton of work today. I'm going to be miserable. It's going to suck. And they're like, I'm sorry. And. Um, maybe text them in the day like how are your meetings going are you okay and mm -hmm. just simple little things that are like oh do you have to drive into work early tomorrow i filled up the car with gas so you don't have to think twice about it those yeah. are like the little things that you could take right. care for your person and when you yeah. find I someone like in this day and age you'll want to okay but uh, okay uh, but uh, some people are going to be annoyed by that like constantly like, oh my god this I fucking guy is texting me about my day like i don't give a shit no like, dude it, it, no i it want depends. it it's a girl's want it it depends on who you talk to but also like I firmly believe that, like, when you're with the right person, shit like that doesn't annoy you. Okay. And those when you're girls with the you're wrong talking person, about, it annoys you. Those girls you're talking about, they're like, oh, he's too, like, lovey or whatever. Like, the, that mentality, like, usually when I meet women like that, they're single for a long time. Okay. And they're, like, going to Coachella single. Or they're just with the wrong person. <laughs> which is okay. Which people. is cool. Yeah, and then chill. they go, damn, I should have had that nice guy. You well, know? well it's, it's one of those, like, you're with the wrong person. Right. If the person that you're with gets annoyed, irritates by the fuck out of you. Yeah. You're you shouldn't be with that person. Like you should you shouldn't spend. Think like, about Zach on Love Is Blind. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I wish I you watched. Did you watch it. that shit? I did. I've she only didn't. ever watched the first season. Oh, I, I know. Me too. This last yeah. season though, like I watched. Some my of the sister first gave season, me the whole the other... rundown. Oh, she this fuck, This season was, was top right, tier. You will yeah. Love my sister and my my agent slash friend. She we all went to Coachella together, and the two of them shared a room, and they watched it every night. They were like, "We have a new episode. We have to watch it." And we have yeah. to. <laughs> we try. It like broke down because everyone was yeah, trying to stream it. Shut. I know. I heard about the live. Why were you at Coachella? What do you mean? Um, because I'm in my twenties. Yeah, it yes. seems it's part of the contract yeah, of being you, an influencer. I gotta go. You have to go. <laughs> right. You have to go. And I'm sure you're to. doing it a pretty Good like the way. right way. The yeah, right we way. went we went um <clears throat> like artist this year, which was my first yeah. time ever doing that. Was that nice? Yeah, it was way nicer than I mean, yeah. It's the I mean, move. Obviously, yeah. I lucked out. It's with absolutely this one. the move. She would never yeah. go, but I'm I am i am always but hitting but up CAA. I'm like, I know you got two passes for the trainers. It's fun. It's it's a blast. And we went with like a group of our friends, and it was so much fun. Who did you see I, perform? I wish I went this year. I fucked up. Who did you see perform? We saw my favorite was Rosalia. Like uh, hell yeah, I fucking love her. She was so. I love her so much. Her show looks sick. She was so good. We watched Ray Shreman. They were really good. Hell yeah. The, I watched the Gorillas. They were really good. Wow, you're a cool girl. Some good sets in. Yeah, yeah, I saw. I mean, I saw Bad Bunny. I oh, saw. Fuck yeah. 
I watched Frank Ocean for a little, and then I left. Because that's all it was, yeah, right? Escape. I well, left. I think you left late. when you left. I le- yeah, <laughs> yeah, we were in probably the same line leaving, honestly. Yeah, yeah I left I left like halfway through because we were just so exhausted. We were yeah. like, let's go home. Wow. Um, it turns out I didn't miss much. So yeah. Yeah. yeah, but you hustled. You went out to all the parties and all that stuff. No, like... I actually didn't go to one party. I I wow. Don't good tell for my, you. Don't tell my publicist. I oh, got to like twenty of them, and I didn't go to any of them. I was just I'm such a skeleton. Like by the end, I'm so tired. What time was it at the end when you were like, I'm so tired, girl? Like, okay, first of all, Bad Bunny didn't go until eleven thirty. Bye, Abby. You're yeah, out of your I heard mind. Pretty late. You're, You're out of your mind. mind. No, Rosalie went on at eight. I said, why can't you all be Great. like that? No, my dream for my tour when I have to tour again <laughs> is to be on at 6 p.m. And my, she was my before managers, like noon. Yeah, my noon. My managers are like, <laughs> at noon be no done by three. way no one yeah. will be there. I was like, I'd fucking go. What do you mean? Like, there's like, because there's kids that go to my show too and they got to like yeah. leave at 11 p.m. and find yeah. the car and like go home. <laughs> no, I'm like, let's do, Jamie Lee Curtis is brave enough to say it out loud. Right. That's what like, I, I want a 1 p.m. show, Coldplay. And I'm like, absolutely, <laughs> bitch. I would love a 1 p.m. show for That's me, That's when I feel so old when I'm I know, like, me too. oh, my God, it's so That's late. What it's kids, a lot on your feet. Like, Oh, my exactly. God. That's what kids I feel did, my age. but people are like, you're going to lose time with your husband when you have kids. It only made more time because we're so tired that we're like, at 7.30, we're like, let's run to bed and then watch Love is Blind. <laughs> Some people like, I'm doing that and I don't have a kid. Yeah. So there yeah, you go. It's, I'm with it's you, It's a better girl. life. I'm with you. And I'm like, date night, you know? 8 p.m. Um, I love that. I had a little fun idea for today, too. Um, oh, yeah. I was just down to just be a punching bag for this episode. And, uh, he was I, scared. So I, I downloaded <laughs> and created my first ever Hinge while I was in Australia. Oh, period. And I, I unpaused it last night so I could show you, and you could judge it and nice. see what's going on. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm on gonna, it. I'm going to hit the... How was also, it in Australia? You know, a sister, um, oh, Austra- Australia was awesome. Australia you know what's was funny? Awesome. I, have, I have like a really strangely large fan base in australia they're cause because they're cool they know pop culture yeah well also they're the men there are like jeez louise uh, oh get Girl, them on your for you babe they get dropped on my doorstep like a dead bird uh, how do you people get probably that? dm her all the time them through yours do they all my fans all the- are little oh, yeah they yeah. get dropped by like oh a and she gets you, you get tagged in they're my little right? cats yeah. yeah they just oh, bring them in their leg here you are. Yeah. Yeah. Destroy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they, they leave him at my Get altar, him. like an offering. Like a dead bird. Yeah. Dude, that's the best thing. <laughs> yeah. Like I come up and eat it. Like I'm like, ah. <laughs> and then I go back down to hell. <laughs> back down the hill. <laughs> okay. Here's here's my hinge. Just initial Let's thoughts. See. You know what I think? What do you think, M Train? I think the key to a good wardrobe is versatility. And that's why I'm so obsessed with my newly. They sent me this gorgeous, I think it's called serendipity, Ooh, fuzzy serendipity. V-neck, nice and low V-neck sweater. And I love it so much. I'm wearing it right now. Check it out. So versatile. Feel it. it feels amazing. Ooh. You've been uh, wearing it constantly and talking about it constantly. And, you know, you do look fantastic. I get a lot of compliments for realsies. Newly is an amazing subscription for clothing rental services, and they give me a choice of any six styles each month. That's a lot. They offer access to thousands of styles from more than 400 brands in a wide range of sizes, including maternity, as you can see. Whatever you have going on, a wedding, a dinner, a pregnancy like me, I'm six months pregnant. What else can you have? They'll, they'll help you find it. You could do whatever. You could be working, you know? They'll help you find it. Well, they'll help you find what works for okay. you. Okay. Okay. Plus, they have fast, free shipping and returns, professional cleaning, and the option to buy what you loved at a discount. Woo! Noli is a great value at $98 a month for any six styles. But right now, you can get $20 off your first month of Newly when you sign up with the code WORK20. W-O-R-K-20. All caps on that work. Just go to N-U-U-L-Y dot com. That's newly with two U's and enter the code WORK20 and sign up to get $20 off your first month. That's N-U-U-L-Y dot com. Newly with two U's with code WORK20. Newly subscription clothing rental. Change your clothes. I look like a polar bear. <laughs> All right. We'll let's see. Um, we this really the is the hinge, yeah, yeah. everyone. I'm actually. I took all these pictures. <laughs> look at it. Megan said TM. Picture nope. code TM. Chris Olsen oh. took that picture. Okay, whatever. Well, that's essentially Megan Trainor. Yeah, the same like, person. we're the same person. <laughs> I was right next to him. 
all rounds on me and I'm a phenomenal oh DD Doesn't oh period driving. all rounds on period. me yeah it's like uh, first rounds on me if and I'm like all rounds on me and I'm a phenomenal DD and it so rhymes. So what, you balling? Why you say all rounds on you? I, if I take someone out, I don't expect them to pay anything. I, oh, I, I get the bill. Sure, when he was drunk, he was acting like he had my money. And right. Was like, well, it's not like that anymore. <laughs> it's not like that anymore. He said, but if I take like, a well, lovely I'm lady broke. on a date, it's he, it's obviously I he got the said, bill. He said, hey, baby, does, it's on Megan does, Trainer. Don't worry even about it. Even if it's it. a Drew, terrible date. He does get date. the bill for a date. He's even if it's horrendous. I believe you. I believe you. Hey, baby, it's on Megan Trainer. Don't worry about it. It's on me. Ooh, high quality plus one. Uh, you guys I say, like, so I it's like, like using... what I'm looking for. Okay, okay. What I'm looking for. High right, quality plus down. one. So we got yeah, a, yeah. a nice like... snow pick like that. That's a great pick. Shout out Chris Olson. That was his 30th birthday. I took him to yeah, town. I look, oh, I that's like right. I look 30. I, I go skiing. <laughs> Good skin. Distinguished gentleman. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then it goes into a video of me. Self-care routine. Right. The ice bath. How is that thing? It's it's, sick. it's cool. I'll show it to it's you. I really want to try it. I'll I saw Brevin you. You Rock has mine. one too. Oh yeah. yeah, I'll just come over. So my self care routine. I'm like, in the cold. I'm yeah. like, you have to do it. It's freezing. <laughs> okay, I like the self care routine because it's funny. It's sick. right. Okay, right? you said the first first run on me. Um, I think that's a great one. He said all rounds because he's sober and a phenomenal designated driver. Right. Then we got a body pick. Nice. Shut the fuck up. Give me the phone. Look to Megan. I didn't show Megan this. I didn't show Megan this. A body pick. Little body pick. The way you can see it. Dude, I've been camera. working on my body. Pepe wants to see. Pepe wants to see. Come here, grab it. Grab it. Oh, look at this, Pepe. <laughs> Dude, this is what you, you have to do. You put my son on your dating app? That's what I said. I said, I'm a using, fun uncle. You're using, using my beauty, my <laughs> child. Not to zoom in on your abs, Pepe. Come on. I've been putting in work in myself. The fact, the okay. fact that your you gotta, baby is a ginger is so cute. I know, I right? love it. I hope so I have four cute. gingers. <laughs> I hope. That gene is strong because you your know baby what's is funny? When ginger. I was younger, I was like, I will never date a redhead. Eh. And now I'm like, I hope they're all red. Yeah. Girl, you're telling me. Oh, so and he has Crocs on. That's so cute. Oh, yeah. Amazon's got great Crocs. <laughs> oh, I love. Okay. The baby pick is cute because it's like, look at me. Do you even so say you're his pick. uncle or anything? They should be able to figure it out. Right? Fuck. Do I, I have to say so. something? I mean, if your last name's Trainer and your baby's a redhead, I'm pretty sure right? one plus one equals two. <laughs> or do <laughs> I look like sure. a... I don't look like a father. Do I look like a father? No, I don't think My you. Son, I think son. this. I think this pick looks like you're like a cool uncle. Okay, cool. Are. Yeah, I was yeah. going for cool those uncle are, vibes. Those are the vibes that okay. I get. Okay. Nice. Titties out, slut. Titties out, slut. Because I'm a big fat whore, and I think that's great. I support you in being a whore. <laughs> See, look, the key to my heart is back rubs, whore. That's come on wait, 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 wait. I love Vibes whores. I mean, whore. I love whores. <laughs> it's like, wait, I love a back He's rub. He's like, come rub on me. Oh, it's no, it's a nice sexual. little back rub for like sleepy hey, hey, time. Hey, 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 whore, hey, hey. you and God. Fuck. I love whores. I was a whore. Okay, so but okay. would you swipe on him? Yeah, I think so. Fuck yeah. I think I'm looking like a for good swipe or a bad swipe. A high, <laughs> a high quality plus one. Don't know how I feel about that. I know. See, this is where we get. This is where it gets. Oh, dicey. you're that's you asking for a good person. Yeah, it, well, says, I, it says like I'm looking for. That's the prompt. Just say wife, dog. I because I don't know if I am or not. I don't know. This is this a is the problem. This is the red flag with me. You should write. You should write. I'm not sure. That's why I downloaded Hinge. Aww. Funny. Okay. Clever, I like witty. I like that. TM. Good prompt. <laughs> and then a golf pick. Nice. He loves to go. And a nice little beach pick. I think this is a really, like, no bullshit. I think this is a you really well-rounded profile. Well-rounded profile. I think if, so. if they knew you and, like, where we do go places and I'm like, you get a plus one, make sure they're fucking a good person. Well, that's, that's why. why I'm looking that's for a high-quality plus one. Yeah. I, I, I get to go get, to all these special I things. I get that if they don't know that right away, that yeah. they're like, They might oh. be like, what? Yeah. Yes. Right. But I also think, I mean, I don't know if you have this issue, but, like, I'm sure you worry about dating because... Of who your yes, sister is. It's a that's also a huge it's a, thing. It's a constant yeah. battle. It's tricky. It gets really hard dating in this industry. Right. Because right? I feel like that's you what, just never know people's intentions. Exactly. So, so that's been my hesitation with this. But with Nick dating. Vile was like, dude, you got you to gotta download something. You got to get out there and get and date. Because I was very anti. In the beginning of my sobriety, it was my nightmare. Mm. Like com conversing with someone yeah. sober. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And like being stuck at a dinner. So like it was yeah. just scary to me. Now it's not. Like I'm, Well, that's good. He's learned that he's a good person. That's good. I love I'm that. I'm a good time without booze. <laughs> yeah. It took some, yeah. It's a great some therapy. Thing. You know, we were learn. trying to tell him. We're like, you're always fun, Ryan. And he's like, oh, no, the only one I drink. And we're like, yeah. no, no, no. But well, my brain was recalibrating. Thing calibrating yeah. yeah 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 and that's that's like the toughest part is is you you're your biggest 
enemy. Right. You know what I mean? It's not. That's even what it is, and that's also like an East Coast thing, too. I think. I'm sure. We all hate each other. <laughs> we all hate ourselves. <laughs> I'm sure. We're just so honestly. mean to ourselves. You yeah, know? and everyone. I feel like it's like a defense mechanism. Yeah. Well, especially as 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 a man, like in men in patriarchal society, like you're conditioned to be a very specific way. Like yeah. the world wants you to be a very specific way, like a hardened, emotionless, like hard Soldier. worker, <laughs> like entrepreneur or whatever the fuck those podcasts say. Um, but men are multifaceted and men have many different shades and that's okay. Like men are, men have emotions and feelings and they, they want to express them and they just don't know how. I think that's most of the problem with men, especially not to defend them because it's against my brand. Yeah. <laughs> But like Wait, no, this good is... men, I feel like yeah. quality men understand, which is what you did when you chose um, to like get sober. You're right. like, I'm unhappy. Like I had, I had a guy stitch me once and he said, if I had run across her like three, four years ago, I would have fucking hated her. And he's like, but then I came to a point in my life where I'm like, why am I so unhappy? Like I'm so angry all the time. I'm so irritable. I'm single. I don't, you know, I don't have a partner. I, like, my family is not supportive, like whatever. And then he like sat with himself and he like made a bunch of life changes and did a lot of reading and educated himself. And then he realized that the patriarchy was like choking him out. Like it was literally That's making him. That's what I feel like it's doing to the worst my, version of yourself. My baby boys. I, dude, I'm, pr- I'm chilling. Like I'm, I'm, I think you're now on the, a better path. On the mend. You know right. what I mean? Like you have been for the last, like however many years yeah. you've been sober, what, two years? Almost June. Oh yeah, well congratulations. Thank First you. of all, it's a great thing. It's a wonderful I accomplishment. Remember that. June. <laughs> yeah, June. 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 <laughs> well, and uh, then I think it's like a beautiful it's a new chapter. You know, right. you see you see now you're finally get, being seen for who you really are as opposed to what you were projecting prior. Exactly. And right. we're putting it all yeah. online. And it's just it's going to take me some time, okay? <laughs> I'm just I'm I want to go out there experience thing, this it feels like a second life, like it's yeah. a bonus life. I love that. Probably my, my ninth life. But <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It, lucky. it feels like that, you know, and I just. Um, well, that means you're supposed to be here. That's what that means. The fact that you're still here. Stop. I'm going to cry. Guys. Yeah. This is the best day of my life. <laughs> Literally, the only reason why I do this is so that we can have family therapy. Yeah. <laughs> you're and forcing is, your family to sit in therapy. Literally. He's like, that's why you're like, mom, like, sit down. I didn't know like, what I was signing up for at first. too much, dude. You shouldn't do the podcast. Like, this is stupid. Like, you do enough. I was like, this is for my mental health. <laughs> I'm using this you. is my me time. You don't even know. That's a great thing. <laughs> and he's winning on top of it. Well, yeah. He had Doctor Drew come in and tell him like, "Oh, you need Period. this type of therapy." And yeah, yeah. Like, that was. The I'll final listen to whatever straw. you say, Doctor. Now I'm a different Drew, not a doctor. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> but you've Just taught an him so much internet. already. So much wisdom. I feel like I didn't even yeah. ask you about anything. Um, That's okay. I don't care. But like, talk you're about me from all California, time. and you just yeah. popped off on TikTok, and now you're like, I'm about to run the world. Period. Uh, yeah, I just like I fell into it during the pandemic because I got fired from my last job. And I Uh-oh. was like, that was like a big restart for me. I was like, what the fuck am I going to do? And um, my boyfriend encouraged me. Why don't you start posting on TikTok? Because I used to post like Snapchat rants like back in the day. I used to like just to make my friends Sick. laugh. I used to like bitch about things when you're in your early 20s. Everything's annoying. Yeah. So I would like complain about shit. And then um, he was like, why don't you post on TikTok? It's like just for fun. It would just be like a nice little like uh, creative thing for me to do. And I'm like, OK. I felt too old for the app because I was like, everybody's like 15 no. on there. And so then I found other creators that are now my friends, which is crazy. Chris is one of them. Yep. Um, he was like one of the first people I had seen on TikTok that like really blew up. And then as I just like kept going, I fucking fell into making fun of dudes. And then it just like the last two years have been 20 years <laughs> like yeah. wrapped into one. I like once you. it happens, it really just like takes off and you can't. And how are you emotionally handling like being a famous person now? therapy right yeah. family yeah it's big i feel like i just talked about it too with someone else i was telling them how like my family is just so important to my normalcy yeah like me staying tethered to being a normal person and doing normal oh, people yeah. things because like i mean you know you're fucking Megan no Turner, no but. but i i just got asked the other day like what's it like having fans and i was like i don't feel like a famous person like, yeah same i don't feel like there's a group of people like that are my fans i yeah. feel like if anything I know them now. We've yeah. grown up together. Yeah. And like my brother, it just keeps me so grounded. And so like he just made fun of me five minutes ago. Like, <laughs> and I need that. Literally, I need yeah. That. I like- but I also keep him around because um, my team's like, what does he do? And I was like, he takes my pictures for social media, but also sometimes he like walks me off the cliff, yeah. you know? And when same, I'm like, I don't fucking do this. He's like, but it's so easy and you're so good at it. And I'm like, oh, that's right, bro. I forgot. <laughs> so funny. And, and he helped me with like, <laughs> biggest life decisions of like in yeah. my career should i do this should i not and, yeah 
And I need that. And you need that outside of your team, like you need yeah. people who have known you your whole life. I literally, life. and yeah. they're getting annoyed. Isn't that just my being managers, a big brother, though. Her. No, no one calls her big bro like that. Like my manager. Some people are don't have relationships. They don't like have that, with that their dude. siblings. Yeah. I'm on Facetime with all my team, and they're like asking a big question. I go. Hold on, I gotta call Ryan. I'll call you right back. And they're like, now I'm having like a realization. Like, are you just paying me to be a big brother? Like, I'm freaking out. No, no, you know what's what's funny? My sister is like that too. So, my mom is like that too. But my sister also, because my sister is older than me. My sister's my older sister. So, like, my mom has a dog. Her name's Darla, and we got she's a pandemic. She's a pandemic dog, so she's like attached to my mom, like like shadow. Yeah. Uh, I need my sister and my mom around me like that. So my sister always describes it. She's like, I'm Drew's Darla. Like, she's like my yeah. emotional support animal. Like, she comes with yeah. me everywhere. everywhere. Every time I travel, when you, she comes. Everywhere like, you everywhere. go, you've been asking, can my mom and sister come? Yeah, and, yeah. and I go, oh, my God. I always God. have, can I have a plus six? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool, That's guys. what I do, though. Yeah. I'm like, always. oh, this is what we sound like. Cool. Yeah. Tell her, yeah. No, I literally, <laughs> like, I, I was at Coachella and... Uh, I was with Brittany, Brittany Broski. Oh, God, and, I love um, her. She's we were t- yeah, She's fucking hilarious. We were talking to someone and she goes, oh, yeah, if you invite Drew, though, you got to give her a plus eight because she gives <laughs> at least, she brings at least eight people all the time, which is fucking it. true. I always, my, it's always, always my family. Always should. Always <laughs> ask. Yeah. They'll probably say yes. <laughs> yeah, like I'm going to VidCon and like they gave me like a plus 10. <laughs> nice. Like, my entire family, my entire team, all yeah. of them. I'm yeah. like, everyone 100%. comes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my Drew- dad will be there they're like there's an old man in here i'm like oh my, God, yeah, my, my dad. dad too dude my dad was like so i always take my mom and sister literally everywhere and then last year my as i got more busy my dad was like i want to go to some stuff right <laughs> like i want to go too and my mom was like you don't want to go to half the shit we go to like i promise you you don't because my dad is I so know. shy we have to tell my dad like this is gonna suck my dad is painfully shy so but he my gets dad, fomo like, he came yes like, yes yes he came but to he- made you look right yeah, yeah he did yeah there's and he was like can too, i sit I in the van i'm like no you can't you have to come you're gonna sit in the unair conditioned so van cute. so well, my dad no like air sits, in the house so it doesn't matter the hottest day of the year <laughs> yeah, yeah he sits with his nightmare. he sits facing the fucking wall because he's like please nobody talk to me my mom loves to talk to everyone though so i was like hello everyone. they're literally the opposite of my parents <laughs> yeah, oh, my really? mom is yeah. like don't look at me or know that i exist and my dad's like hey hi i'm the father i'm like <laughs> you can call me dad I'm i some guy, some people, guy was dad. like i'm not gonna call you dad <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah he's like gt dad whatever you feel i'm like shh, shh, shh. we went on uh we went on tour my sister and i earlier this year we did like a comedy tour and um, the first show we had, we had like a big, big room and there's like 500 people in there, which is really fucking cool. But like someone asked a question about my dad and my dad is sitting in the audience and I was like, my dad's right here. Everybody look at him cause he loves attention. Yeah. <laughs> and my dad was like, my dad turned beat red. My oh dad was my so, oh, when I do that to my dad, he stands attention. up. Yeah. 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 <laughs> He's like, yeah. yeah. Come take find a, me after the show. We'll, we'll take, we'll take, take pics. a bow. My dad could not get out of there fast enough. He's oh like, my how would God. you tell them that? I'm like, my dad's six six, mind you. So my dad's a big dude. Like he can't yeah. hide. So yeah. even if I said hide, he that's so funny. He'd be like, shy. Yeah, that's because he's, he's so Pisces. Shy. Mm, probably, yeah. My mom's yeah. a sad. So my mom's not afraid of anything or embarrassed to do anything. She's like, well, I'll do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's like that's like us. We're, everyone asks us to do a reality show, and we're like, let's fucking Fuck go. It. We're so down. The rest of the family's <laughs> like, absolutely like, not. Fuck no, we're everyone not Everyone except that. your mom. Your mom's literally. Like, mm. My mom's like, I guess, but like, I'll just. Dunk no, and our roll. brother Justin was like, absolutely. Yeah, not. he's yeah, not on social media. He's a shadow man. He's a rare breed. Jason Bourne. Yeah. He literally yeah. off the radar. Off yeah. The and he yeah. went from no social media to like dating apps. Damn. And so he had no idea. It was crazy to watch someone go through that emotionally. Like, yeah. not know like strangers could be dangerous. Yeah. You know, or so we, just like, we had to, like have that intention that. Yeah. and all that. Yeah. Like one girl that he wanted, he has an amazing girlfriend now, but one mm-hmm. girl that he wanted to see, um, he was like, is it cool if she comes over? I go, let me see her profile. Yeah. Literally was like, love music want to be a musician Uh oh. And, and he's like probably she just not wants to come on a date like in our studio we're just gonna hang i was like or you could go literally anywhere else you could go to literally anywhere else i was like that's like a very expensive very important you very could, famous you could studio. drive 20 minutes that way like, and go, go to somewhere McDonald's. Yeah. don't bring her here She's a <laughs> go to McDonald's. yeah you, hey, so uh, way to no. teach him those things. You say, "Hey, no strangers in my house." Thanks, yeah. though. Yeah, yeah. No. and he was like, "Well, I already told her yes," and I was like, "Then go to someone else's studio." Scratch, if yeah. I were you, I'd, I'd AI studio immediately. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, my dad was like, "I want to come to stuff," and we're like, "Okay." So then I went to Playlist Live. It's like this. It's like VidCon, but like in Florida. 
and uh, there's a bunch of parties and shit and like we took my dad and my mom and my dad was like standing there and then he's like yeah i'm cool not going to anything else i was like yeah i told you you wouldn't like it i tried to warn you i told you i mean love the parties yeah yeah we took we took our dad dad and him and they'd be like go ahead to like grammy after party it was like the first billboard awards it wasn't anything like that Uh, but even then my dad would be like i'm good see me leave me out wow yeah we all went to taylor swift's uh after party in in vegas billboard Awards. she was like yeah bring the whole family just like me for real she was so cool i need a plus she said to hi all like everyone mom dad and then another one yeah. and I was like let's, just let us all in I was like glam we're all is. going the fuck it they're like really I was like yeah let's go <laughs> that's so you're just like just me always do it though it's sick I know I'm always like I need as many plus ones as possible yeah. that's cool yeah and they're like yeah yeah let's totally most of the time they're cool with it yeah sometimes they're like sorry your family's cool too yeah I once they meet them. them like on their own my dad sometimes but I could trust that <laughs> I could trust him, and you know, no same. My dad I, always had my mom to babysit him, you know. Yeah, but like, so he was good. My mom, I never have to worry about her going off. Like, I went to a party with JVN. Like, JVN was hosting a party, so I went to it, and it was so fun. I took my mom and sister. My sister and I were talking. I turn around, my mom's gone. I'm like, what the fuck? I like look around, and she's uh, she's like, ha ha ha, laughing with a new group of people. I'm like, who the fuck <laughs> so are these people? She's like, Saggies. oh, she's like, oh, these are. This my one's friends. the CEO of this company, and this is so and so. And I was yes. like, okay, period, bitch. This <laughs> networker, yeah, networker. Yeah, but she's like, she has so much fun on her own. I'm like, I could trust her. I could trust my sister, yeah. my boyfriend. Yeah, like he's cool. He's very like, whatever is about everything. <laughs> he's just kind of there. But like, it's funny because how my did you boy- meet him? High school. We went to high school together. Stop it! I'm wow. crying. Not high school sweethearts though. But he's we- the one okay. on your um Instagram that's got Yeesh. the beard. Yes. Handsome boy. Yeah, long hair. His hair's almost as long as mine now so <laughs> damn your baby's gonna hair. be cute as fuck do you want baby someday <laughs> maybe maybe i'm undecided right now see let me be see. undecided you go on see. yeah but you're so undecided i feel like you're holding yourself back <laughs> you gotta at least it's not for she's everybody like, bro she's like, she's like, say yes to everything <laughs> i read that book say yes i say yes she just wants a she wants another girl I just want in the a house. Sister. yeah she's like if do you get you a girlfriend i think that'll play care do you know anyone i'll keep an eye out Keep an eye. Out. I'm all keep an eye out. Look at me matchmaking for friends, everyone. Please. You don't have to. It's okay. Uh, <laughs> it's we, easier, I think, to date like that. To like date what? like through people who are also in the industry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's for easier sure. Than dating someone who probably has no experience in the industry. Yes. Might be safer That's that another way. Problem. I don't know. He once like hooked up with a background dancer and um, no, not a background dancer. No, with a random girl. Sorry. Mm, she was go. not a background dancer though no but she said tell the story about how she was like "Ugh, i hate megan turner and you're like yeah she's awful and then in the morning you were did she, she was not like, know where are she you didn't going know and sister. you were like oh i'm megan turner's photographer because that's my sister and she was like Damn. she looked at my instagram she was like wait you're her brother did she just say go, that yeah. unprovoked i well like, you're talking about i would music. be out on tour i'd be like yeah i'm, oh, I'm megan yeah. trainer's photographer like okay. i wouldn't say and they all that you're hated her brother. me no I got you. <laughs> and they, and, and they would be like, like she's haters. the fucking worst i'm like yeah wait right? how many said i'm <laughs> the worst like, i know how not many? 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 Not that many many there's more than one <laughs> listen dude you're not successful unless you have haters that's how it works <laughs> you're telling me and dude, <laughs> like, yeah, she'll cry over like the littlest comment. I, um, I can't you imagine mean. what the fuck you have to read. I've never yeah. gotten therapy. death threats that I've seen. It's so insane. when you said that to me, I was like, oh shit. I get them all the she time. Gets real death That's insane. Threats. I get them all the time every day on every app. No. Yeah. Sometimes they get sent to my email. I'm like, how'd you find this? Oh no. Just kidding. It's in my bio. It's oh, my business okay, email. Good. So my agent saw it. There you okay. go. No. God. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's fucked. I yeah, know. Yeah, I was so talking about it. I was like, how do you deal with that? I'm so soft. They get me every time. The I therapy. don't know. I just think, yeah, therapy helps a lot. I think Aaliyah, do you know Aaliyah? Aaliyah's interlude. She made like Aaliyah core. She's a big TikToker. I'm she sure, just collaborated yes. with Lizzo. If I showed you her, you would probably oh, know. Oh, yes, yes, yes. But she, um, she was on my show and she said, there, I think there's a difference between a hater and a loser. <gasps> She's like, so like a hater, like it's fun to be a hater. <laughs> She's like, like if you like, I hate mayonnaise or something like that, like something silly and ancillary. But like if you're a loser, you hate for no reason yes. out of jealousy or envy. And that's a loser. And I always go to their apps and they have no posts. <laughs> it's just like if a they're kitten. burners. Yeah. <laughs> and sometimes if you were to respond to them, they'd be like, oh, my God, Megan, I never thought you would see this. I'm a big fan. I bet you yeah. anything. Yeah. 
They've done and that I, to me. I told her how Andrew Santino said that they're ghosts. And she yeah, was like, yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah. You don't see them unless you go looking for them. Unfortunately yeah. for me, that's my whole fucking platform. So I have to look for you them. I'm to. a professional ghost hunter at this point. Like I'm in there like, Boo, come on bitch. out. <laughs> come on out. No, <laughs> They're afraid of me. I'm a ghost buster at this point. You're a ghost buster. Yeah, you truly. You merch like that. That'd be sick. <laughs> I would I fucking buy that. Yeah. Oh my God. Um, is there, uh, what are you working on? <laughs> <laughs> dude we crushed it i we was gonna crushed, play right? i was gonna no, play but a like, voicemail talk about it. your show because you're successful as fuck oh thank yeah. you <laughs> yeah my show is uh the comment section and mm-hmm. it's spotify exclusive now she's exclusive Damn, spotify bro. She's she got money. <laughs> they bought that's me that's huge spotify didn't buy us i'll tell you what <laughs> So okay. we're, we're, we're just doing this for we'll fun anyways, right? Made. Come on. Right, fine. I did not think they were going to, uh, but they did. So it's very fun. That's I huge. love Spotify. Um, and I have another podcast with my sister called Two Idiot Girls. I didn't know that. Yeah, Fuck which yeah, is really two fun. Idiot girls. Yeah, it's a very different, like, completely different setup from my show with the comment section because I feel like that's very guest driven. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas it's my with my guests. sister is just us like talking about silly shit that we like and don't like and love it. Yeah, it's very silly and it's a different side of me, which I love too. So two shows, uh writing a book currently. <gasps> you are? About yeah. what? Um it's gonna fall in like the self help category. You should, dude. But my book you got, got knowledge. <laughs> Thank you. My book got bought by uh, Questlove's imprint. So I'm working with Questlove. What a fuck. Book. Sick. Yeah, he's a genius. Like, actually. What? He made me, he made me feel so smart when I hung out with him. You like, are, you are so smart. smart. Thank yeah. you. It's Thank changed my life today. Shit. Yeah. Period. You changed our life. When you get married, I want be credit. I got you. The that TM. Means find drill. her and then you're invited. <laughs> the wedding? I'm going to pay for it. Chris, you I told you. I'm going to pay for it and Chris make it amazing. Dude, what if I found me a rich girl and her dad pays for it? What do you mean? I'll still pay for it. I'll be like, Daddy, don't. I got this. Chris Olsen, <laughs> I told you I'm coming for your neck. I already told yeah. you. I'm replacing you in this family. She literally came in and was like, is that where Chris sleeps? Where does he sleep? Because <laughs> tell him to scoot over. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I'm writing a book, which is wonderful. So good. I can't wait That's to buy it. right now that I can talk about. And read it. Great. Ooh, she's you don't need to buy it. I'm going to send it to you. This is my book. It's probably blurry. Yes. In the front. Take it to your mama. I love. I went on her show. That's coming out May something. I think so. Probably sooner, honestly. Love it. Who knows? Yeah, May something. We, we had a good time. We did. We I so got, I didn't know how to buy myself coffee. I didn't know what my order was because my husband makes my coffee every day. <laughs> so we got cold brew. Love. I fucking left your show and went to Jennifer Hudson and thought I was going into labor because. You had, you had a cold it, brew? I had a cold brew with yeah. oat milk. And I mean, you heard me. I was like, yeah. this tastes like shit. Yeah. And it abused my stomach oh my and, God. and i was on jennifer hudson going they're like how's Bubble pregnancy guts. i was like i think i have a massive poop destroying my stomach and are the you crowd a dairy girl like nuts. do you get do you are you like i'm like dairy? i'm very i share a lot more about my poop because i poop shamed myself so much that i couldn't i could never poop in public i can't fart i've had the amount of poop and farts i've held in i probably have like a stomach Damn. yeah wrecked yeah. so I've i lived, filmed videos I lived on the toilet so ache. right it's all I out with, for me I live with stomach aches my whole life, so I'm trying to be more like you, feel myself on the toilet. I haven't yeah. gotten there yet, but I've taken pics on the toilet and stuff. That's just the place. It's just the, the best place. The acoustics are so nice. And I mean, that's where I'm doom scrolling. Sometimes people will be like, are you in the bathroom? And I just write, this is my office. So now it's like a <laughs> running joke. Like my someone will also write it on a new video, and then my fans will be like, she's in her office. What are you talking about? Me just gaslighting my own fans. Yeah. That's my office. <laughs> are you crazy? Oh my god! I, oh my god! What I say? I'm gonna set I'm up gonna, an office in there, like a desk. In I'm there. gonna buy you little gifts that are like for your office, but for your bathroom. I'll take it. <laughs> that's so fucking good. Oh, that's good. I'm glad you're not yeah. afraid to talk about pooping anymore. Yeah, no. no she poop mentions it every time we do this or anything else. <laughs> yeah. Literally every second of the day. Yeah, that's her catching up for lost time. It is. I, yeah. Yes. So you're not allergic to dairy or anything like that, or no? I just like struggle pooping. I feel and, then, and once I learned how to eat right, I was like, oh, I'm pooping better, you know? Mm, so that I'm helps. allergic to dairy. Well, not dairy. I'm lactose intolerant. Isn't that allergic to dairy? I don't know. No, they're two different things, I guess. Like dairy is like uh, and any allergen at all. But like lactose is just like it's a certain amount of lactose. I like cannot digest. I heard once it's weird if you can digest it. Really? Like if you could eat like a, ta- like a bunch of pizza and then follow it with ice cream and you're fine like crazy you're crazy yeah and i was like uh-oh all of us on our childhood <laughs> not me i'm like sometimes i just simply pretend i'm not and then i pay for it dearly later yeah, yeah you yeah. know what i mean we're but just like, fighting for your life worth in the it. toilet worth it no yeah worth you think it. that and then you're on there and you're like god if you help me now i promise i'll, <laughs> I'll never, never do ever it do it again, again. I promise Always do it again i promise i won't 
me lying to God. <laughs> so I don't have to poop like that anymore. <laughs> your poops are so violent. You lie to God. You lie to God. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Um, okay. Well, okay. Your two dude. shows, a book coming eventually. Yes. You're amazing. Thank I'm so you. proud of you. I'm so happy for you. Thank you deserve you. everything and then some. I can't wait to watch your career pop the fuck off even more. <laughs> Thank um, you. We worship a strong, independent woman and we love you. Thank you so much for Thank you for your they, time. Where, where, where can, can we find you? you? Oh, they can find me at Drew Afualo, A F U A L O. I'm going to start saying things. your name right. Afualo. And then you can one. follow my show, the comment section, my show, Two Idiot Girls. Yeah, if follow you want. her sister. What's and my your book will be. Oh, my sister's is Dason, D E I S O N, Alfawala. Hell yeah. Period. Period. <laughs> <laughs> and my book's coming out next year. Perfect. Next, like, spring. Yeah, I, w- I always wanted to talk about this, and they were like, not yet. I was like, fuck you guys, I'm going to talk about it forever. <laughs> no, I'm allowed to talk, talk about, about the book. It. Yeah. Period. Period. And I mean, you still have that book out. It's right here. Yes. Where, where can they get it? Sure, where can they get it? Uh, yeah, talk about your book. Everywhere. B- buy it everywhere. It's coming out April 25th, but you can pre-order it now everywhere. Woo-hoo. And it talks about my vagina and my titties. <laughs> titties. 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 Twitch.tv slash Ryan Trainer. Uh, <laughs> thank you guys so much for listening, Hinge. watching. Hinge.com, Ryan. Okay. <laughs> Love you. Hinge.com. You say Hinge.com? Hinge. Hinge. Oh, God. God. I'm so married Thank you so much. Of course. Thank you, Jerry. Thanks for having me. Bye, Bye. 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 Bye.